and welcome to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. We have an amazing show uh, for you. It's all about comedy tonight, and this is a special one. This is the weekend edition, episode 100. Woo! I can tell you, Sana, 100 episodes may not seem like much, but depending on how you look at it, it's a big deal. Moi left at 24. <laughs> Mugabe ajafikisha 100 na biletu, watu wanaonanga ameka sana. <laughs> and if you want a more recent example, juzi hapa tumeamboti le brown ajai pitisha 10 seconds. <laughs> now, uh, 100 episodes is, a, is our first milestone uh, for this show. But before we get uh, to kick off the celebrations, um, a lot of interesting things have happened across the country. And I know most of you expect me to make a comment about the Otile Brown saga. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. Uh, we didn't talk about small issues on the show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, furthermore, we can all agree that despite what Vera said, with the time, Otile Brown could still be the next big thing. <laughs> anyway, KCP, KCP results are out. And with, uh, they've come out with very interesting statistics. Boys led in social studies, science, and maths, while girls led in Swahili and English. Yet according to some media reports, girls outshined boys. Come to think of it, this is just a perfect re re reflection of how things happen in real life. In real life. As in, ata isabu ya mwanaume ingia neaje, de matakuja yaribu na kizungu mingi. But of course, boys had to lead in social studies. See in your social studies. Understand. <laughs> also, uh, Felix Kipto, as uh, people by the name Felix Kipto, wrote his examination from the Rift Valley uh, Provincial Hospital Intensive Care Unit, that's the ICU, and managed to score 342 marks out of a possible 500. In the same examination, Yenye Kipto alifanya, 2,000 healthy students <laughs> scored between 0 to 100 marks. <laughs> this is the most literal definition of unhealthy competition. <laughs> what excuse would you have ya kushindwa kwa mtiani na mtuwa kwa ICU? Vicent. No. Kwa nini ulishinda siku ya ijuma hukuja shuleni? Nifariki. Uli? Iyo ina make sense kuliko ICU. That's not to mean that uh, all hope is lost for the 2,000 KCP candidates who scored less than 100 marks. Because depending on how you look at it, that could mean we have 2,000 potential governors for 2047. <laughs> but then again, come to think of it, studying for eight years to score 100 marks, that needs divine intervention. Sami, siata ugesomea one mark per week. Tugekuwa na kitu ya kuwabia majirani. Sasa nitaabia baba jogona nilikuwa na muoba baisikeri ni kupereke shule ukafanye nini. 63 marks unajua hata nikikuwabia uige uze pesa uwezi kunywa chai na mkate. Na mawaithera nikuwabia hii kijana yako ni beti meugua. But on, on the real though, kwa nguka mtiani siyo mwisho wa maisha, we are all gifted differently. In other news, the Tanzanian football team will be forced to return 2 million shillings they were conditionally given by President John Pombe Magufuli after they lost a match against Lesotho. As in, they will refund the money. Wali pewa do wakashindwa, so they are refunding the money. But this is not unusual, though. Kwa ni hapa kiambuni marangapi wanaume wa meshindwa na kazi wakapeleka pesa kwa pombe? Exactly. Also, my friend Boniface Mwangi shared this picture of himself on a motorbike, after a motorbike ride in Gilgil Town. And as usual, Kenya, unano file vumbi memchapa? As usual, uh, Kenyans politicize that too. At you, that's a picture of the Stare constituency election results. Vile bonia leo nejwa kivumbi. At you, that's evidence that politics is a dirty game. The most interesting has to be, at Boniface Mwangi was trying to catch the attention of the deputy president. That's why he's disguised as a piece of land. <laughs> that said, as I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the show, this is episode 100 of the Wicked Edition. And we'd like to thank everyone for supporting us this far from our station NTV, our studio audience, who always make this Ooh. an exciting experience. I can tell you, sir. Thank you. I can tell you, sir. I can tell you, sir. And, uh, 
uh, our TV audience, you guys have been very instrumental in our journey to become the number one show. Asanteni pia sana. Wapi makofi ya and that's not to forget our viewers online from Facebook, YouTube. Actually, our second biggest audience in Kenya, uh, outside Kenya is in the United States, followed by the UK, United Arab Emirates. And not to forget that one viewer who never misses an episode from Kazakhstan. <laughs> yes, and it will, be very rude not to, uh, it will be very rude of me not to recognize the Kenyans who have risked their lives so that we can have content on this show, uh, starting with a gentleman called Saleh, Wanjala from Bungoma, who hung on a chopper <laughs> so that we can get content. <laughs> yes. And I'm, not, I'm also not a supporter of violence, but the Wicked Edition family would like to extend an olive feast to our MCS countrywide for always fighting their way into this program. Mwanaume, mwanaume ame nikanyanga kabisa. Mwanaume ambaye siwa, siwa, si MCA. Ame nikanyanga mungu kabisa na kakataria hapo. Mheshimua huyu alie kutu wa spia ya kitambi followed by an attempt ya kupigwa bite ya roho ama external heart attack in Raymond's language. Lucky enough, aliweza kumcontain adui kabra toke na nyama. Aligirarua chati na muna hii. Umi ni ikuata muzee. Alapo nasema ati ni mchika di ya kapigo na wengine. He's a cartoonist. Ah, I encourage our MCs to keep it coming. I really appreciate, I also really appreciate you guys, uh, your feedback and criticism. A uh, hundred episodes is just the first milestone we had set for this show. And uh, like I say, this is a very special dedication to you guys. And before we get to the celebration, we want to take a short commercial break. All the fun is on the, on the other end of this break. See you guys in a bit. <laughs> Welcome back to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Like I said, we're doing things differently. We're celebrating a hundred episodes of the Wicked Edition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And tonight, uh, part of doing things different is uh, we don't have a guest as uh, we usually do. Our, od our studio audience will share their experience with us. When our represents you guys, when, when they are representing you guys who will catch the show from home. And you can see we have a television, inside a television. This is our guest on the show tonight. <laughs> our guest is a cake from the Valentine Cake House. Asante <laughs> uh, Sarah. Now, now, we'll go straight to our audience. Uh, they will share their experience. Some, some of them have been here from when we started episode one. Tuan Zia Pandegani, Ike? Yeah, ni kupeta kusema isho ime tupea platform kubwa ya kuji express na ime tu motivate sana wengine wetu. Wasewa kitu wana mtaa uwa na tuliza kwa hindi unafanya kazi NTV. Kisa ileo mwona kinyo watu unafanya NTV. So one of the most inspirational shows is mekua, for example, ile ya Miguna Miguna. Yes. Watu walikuwa able to know Miguna, the other side of Miguna. Yes. There was also a show about Jalango. Yes. We're able to know the other side of Jalango, where he came from, struggle, same pitia. Kuna place umefika, unajiambia, ah, sasa umefika uh, uko sao? Siku utaji feel at umefika, ati mini kimori sasa, niko na show yangu. Wanze kuangalia audience yako, na feel, you're the yeah. big guy. Yeah. The day you arrive, that's the day you'll start coming down. There's one big thing. Humility is the biggest thing that you can ever do. Because yes. people see you, but they don't see how many people are holding you up there. You understand? They don't see the cameraman. They don't see the directors. They don't see. All they see is Kingo, Kingori. What if Kingori is climbing up? Ni kama kuna stairs. Ukisha panda moja unavunja. Ukipanda unavunja. What if upate uko juu kuna moto? Ah. Utashukaje. So the biggest thing has always been humility and focus. Yes. But also just to be able to appreciate every other person who's ever held your hands as you come up. Don't ever forget where you're coming from. True. Yeah. Kabisa. Wewe uogopa kusota. Azin ukikumbuka. Eh, hey, 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 boss. <laughs> <laughs> Money is not everything. Money is the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you. Kusota ni mbaya. Kusota ni mbaya. Kusota ni mbaya sana. Kusota ni mbaya. So motivation ni yako. Ni usiba ni chipata eh, tena. Ni, eh, ni msoto. Ata wa ma, mathili tukimbia. Kwa ni udhani yao ukimbia ati wanataka kushinda. Aki kumbuka tupa. Aki kumbuka huko Eldore na Maburzi. Unaza kimbia uvuje marekonzote. 
Oh Buda, eh hey, hey, kusota hey, ni mbaya, hey. kusota ni mbaya. Kuna wasi hawatakangi hawatakangi ku, kujua. They just hate you for no reason. Ume deal now. I'm a haters. Wengi sana but haters to me are always fans who are confused. Yaani <laughs> Yaani mapenzi yao ni mob paka hawajui wadu. Hajui ipelekewa. Na cheki. But also don't expect everybody to love you. Yeah. Una cheki. Yeah. Kuna mtu labda anataka hii suti yako na hajui ataigetaje. So ndio I get to you ataongea vile suti yako ni mbaya. Yeah. Ama aseme venye show yako haishiki. Yes. Ama he says how you are not funny. You understand? Yeah. Uh, if you really think about them so much you'll never ever you'll never ever grow. Mimi kuna time nikianza hizi ma hustle nini so na mtu anaandika kitu mbaya Facebook naenda paka kwa DM yake na muuliza what did i do wrong <laughs> please tell me what can i change na cheki kwa sababu nilikuwa najua najua eh hey, mazee hii comment yake inaweza ni hama hata ni chujwe job una yes, 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 yes. so then i got to realize that people who care don't matter people who matter don't care that's a <laughs> so the people who matter didn't bother yes. the people who made me grow una yeah, cheki yeah, yeah. so sikuizi mimi nikiona ga mtu hata ameandika kitu mbaya kwa page yangu nini nini <laughs> hata sijui kama mmesoma wako wengi paka <laughs> wako wase wananipenda wako mob sana yeah. wame overwhelm saa zingine unaweza andika kitu mbaya hata sikujibu wase tu watakuvamia <laughs> paka we mwenyewe uende udili Uji yeah, delete or anything but haters me. haters are there you can't you can't you can't live without haters and don't think that you can impress everyone if you want to make everybody happy then sell ice cream <laughs> <laughs> period that's what they say naita brian uh -huh. from isili south wazi mm. isili south isili south aka bad shosho <laughs> <laughs> um episode yenye men nice ya uh, the wicked edition yes ni ile ya John Kibira ile at least ali motivate sima vijana from the ghetto ku change yani to the evil the evil yenye iko kwa society into a more a more good a better society a better society yeah. nashukuru Mungu ya kwamba mm -hmm. nimewahi kuwa mwizi ambaye aliheshimika nchini Kenya <laughs> the kuwa the most wanted criminal 1997 baka 1999 tukiwa na rasta na wanogo na wachoshu na madheri kwa bahati mbaya walikuja wakauawa nami nikajihusisha na mambo mengine baada yao kuuawa nikaanzisha biashara yangu binafsi investment investment nikawa CEO <laughs> okay sasa nilipoona bunduki ya isaidi nikaamua ya kwamba badala ya kusumbua binadamu wakiwa hai ni yeah. heri nimpiage time <laughs> hadi aage dunia uh -huh. Sasa ndio nikawa mwanzilishi ambao watu wengi wanatambua kama Griff Roba but mimi nilikuwa katika business. Nilionelea ni makosa sana mtu kuziko na jeneza ya milioni mbili, milioni tatu, milioni nne. Sasa nikaona baadaye kusumbua ukiwa hai ni heri nigojee ufariki, nichukue Kenya ambaye si mimi peani. Ni... <laughs> sasa 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 Askari mwenye aliingia anaitakwa Peter Madheka. Nadhani hajawahi patana na maiti ikiwa serious. <laughs> Aliingia kufungua hivi kwenda kulete kicho tukakutana yeye niki Hakuona <laughs> unajua mimi namuona direct <laughs> Mimi hata karibu ni muongereshe sina ubaya dogo <laughs> Hakuona hakuona wewe na hiyo sanduku wa match. Yeye yeah, aliona kitu akashangaikiwa akaongeza haya. Eh. Kumbe alipotoka Akatoka. akaambia wenzake yeah. ndani kuna maiti mm -hmm. na inatoa jasho. <laughs> <laughs> maiti ya mtu we ndio iko ndani ndio. Walikuwa wanapeleka wapi? Sasa wakachanganyikiwa. Sasa ikasemekana ile maiti itolewe kwa gari ya gazeti ipelekwe Moshali kama kuna complainer waipate emotionally. Aha, okay. Sasa wakidhani mimi ni maiti. Nilivutwa mara ya kwanza kr. Mara nyingine kr. Wakanibeba juu. Na nikasikia wamesema kwa buruge buruno inua maiti vizuri. <laughs> Mwingine akasema na ni muzito. 
Hapo na hapo niliposikia maiti ni muzito. Dhamiri ikaniambia wacha kusuba. Hawa ni watu. Na wakiona maiti imeamuka ghafla tauni hawa mtaheshimiana. Kama Kama hujaiona polisi akiokoa maisha yake. Wenye walikuwa wamenibeba hivi. Nilikongaga jeneza. Pa! Wakaachilia kwa rami. Paragacha! Nikaruka nene wakasema shaitani. <laughs> polisi mbio, mimi mbio, raia mbio kuondoka. <laughs> haraka haraka kila watu, mtu. Watu walikuwa wanaenda kila mtu direction kila yake mtu, kuna watu walienda na wewe. Kila mtu alienda direction yake. Kwanza nilipochanganyikana na watu nilisikia mama moja ameuliza iko nini? Anakuuliza <laughs> wewe. Mama nilisikia ameuliza iko nini? Unaweka muambi wao wao ni maiti imeamuka. <laughs> na ukisema reform tuseme kama subject ya show ya leo ni reforms unafikiria jela hii usaidia mtu kuchange? Jela inasaidia mtu kuchange. Lakini jela hata ikisaidia mtu kuchange kuna makosa makubwa sana serikali inafanya. Inafunga mtu kwa jela miaka 20 ama miaka 30. Lakini ukiachiriwa unaachiriwa empty pocket. Kwa hivyo hata kama ulikuwa na course umekuwa na course gani ama gani ukirudi pale kwanza society wakutaki wasema ah njoro alikamu. Lakini jela inasaidia. Lakini after jela what government can wanaweza fanya kuokoa wale watu wametoka jela na courses ambazo wametumia ndani ya jela. Ninayamani ya kwamba tangu niokoke mpaka saa hizi niko na 18 years kuzaliwa ni kuna miaka 47. Kwa hivyo nina imani ya kwamba kuokoka miaka 18 nimebadilika 18 years mpaka nao sioni ya kwamba bona hii government ya uhuru wasinipee kazi ya kuongeana na vijana mitaani kurekebisha asilimia kubwa ya wao wale wanaiba. Na nijaribu sana kuletea Kenya sifa ya kwamba mwizi mkubwa aliwacha na akapewa kazi na government. Itakuwa ni history. Show hilo ni bamba ni show ya Njugush na ah, King Njugush. Gustavo. Okay. Hizo uh, zimenibamba na nataka kusema Dr. Kingori big up. Asante sana. Hata uh, sisi tukiamka asubuhi tuko na mood mbaya tunaingia tu YouTube. Mna follow. Hata kama wifi ni ya jirani lakini <laughs> tunasikiliza show yako tunasikiliza tunakuwa poa. Sawa. <laughs> Nimetoka Mombasa. Nimekuja okay. Nairobi kutafuta mpunga yani pake. Hadi kutafuta nini? <laughs> <laughs> oh, chapa inaitwa mpunga. <laughs> ah, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay. Naweza sema episode ambayo ilinibamba ni ile ya babu Owino nilikutana na story yako moja ikanishanga you are the only self confessed mse anakunywa changa mm -hmm. and this agent you have a very interesting story behind it this idea of changa is not news to me because uh, that is what brought me up and uh, i used to sell it at a very tender age from okay. primary i used to onja kidogo uh -huh. because you see you cannot sell what you don't test si ni kweli So you know changa was like um, a daily meal for us because that is what was bringing food on the table. If we didn't sell it, I would not afford school fee. If we didn't sell it, I would not get meals for my day. So we uangalia certificates zako unaona changa zini. That's where. I'm sema. If if you want to be mtu you're doing well in life and asema ni gold. We usema ni Of course of course every other thing God has a plan in the Bible in Jeremiah 11 God said that he told Jeremiah that that he saw him in his mother's womb and he had plans for him he had plans for him plans for prosperity and not for destruction so it is God first then any other thing can follow but God uses different people to achieve different things in the Bible in a murderer who is Moses God saw a person who could, who could deliver uh, the Israelites from the bondage in in a shepherd who is uh, who is uh, uh, King David he saw a king why do why 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 do we need to be taxed more that unajua hii pesa yenye tunataxiwa is not even does not even match the money that we're losing personally i decided to oppose the 8% and it was in the public domain and um, Uh, probably there are consequences because <laughs> choices have consequences and i don't fear so long as it is the people who gave me this mandate i did not go into parliament through a back door i was elected by my constituents who really had high hopes in me how could i go back to embakasi east and tell my people that this tax you should pay 8% it was i couldn't do that and i couldn't be at peace with myself we the young people we will die last 
which means that the older ones will die first. So this nation will remain for us either way, whether you are dead or you are out through old age. Either way, it is us who will run this nation. So remember, suppose you are not dead by that time and we are in power and we want you to account for what you did during your time and that time you are even 90 years. What do you think we should do to you? You should ask yourself as a leader. <laughs> so That's a very leaders should threat. not think that you will stay in these positions forever. These positions are meant for you to serve people, not to oppress people. Uh, night for Chelsea? Chelsea. Um, yes. Chelsea. Uh -huh. I'm Edwina Chelsea. Edwina Chelsea. Yes. It's only Gina's Instagram. Love. <laughs> Gina's ah, no. Yes, okay. they're my names. And I'm a Chelsea, the women rep. I represent Madame Water, Mamanzi Water, Wa, St. Paul's University. Okay. So, so that is girl power. Okay. So, showing you in Bamba, ni. Yeah, Otiende Amolo. Okay. That man is brilliant. Uyom say akona very wise thoughts. And then Pia Shwingine nye ilini bamba ni ya uh, uh, Francis Major. Yes. Ya Barabara. Because okay. right now we can see kuna changes kwa Barabara zetu. Okay. Tume lose watu wengi sana kwa rodi and it's very sad to lose people. Mm -hmm. So sahizi at least tunezona things happening, things changing and especially sahizi tunengia um, simwa Christmas. Shuli ni bamba sana ya wicked edition ilea ako there. While doing research for this show, yeah. there was a, a line that I came by. In Asema, women have the choice to decide on whether to keep the baby or not. Men don't have a choice. Once the baby is a mekuja, you have to take responsibility. Where do you draw the line? Doesn't that sound unfair? Kido? No. Actually, I'm so happy about this because you know what? Men have been ignoring us for so long. They come. They walk in and then they imagine they've gone. We remind you after nine months that you are around. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, a total nialam. You see, hey. the problem, <laughs> that is when you will see his true colors. In fact, you will be shocked. Just try and call a man and tell him you've missed your period. He'll tell you, go find it. And you are the two of you. <laughs> and the moment, you know what, 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 what surprises me is okay. like the way they whisper into your ears. You say, oh, baby, you know, we can't have it now. Don't worry. You think I can't take care of you and the baby? You know, yeah. and they are doing theory. And we women, we are busy doing practicals. <laughs> <laughs> They've just done the theory. We share Maliza. You know, it's so annoying how even right now, nowadays we even get pregnant through Bluetooth. You understand? Because I know I've looked at your status, I've seen you are in a suit, you are driving a big car. I don't even know if you have a loan or whatever. Me, I just want that good life. Before you know it, just one night, in one day, in one day, in one day, in one day, Periods as Yakuja. What was going on? You know, sikuizi. One day, baby, I'm pregnant. So it's upon boy shall to think. There's a new song out, Loto. So you come out, Can we have that song? There was a story about you recently that you are not on any WhatsApp groups. Uh, you've bashed relatives online. I think your relatives fear you by now. <laughs> what in our WhatsApp groups? Our WhatsApp group has been built for a certain purpose, isn't it? Yes. We we would you contribute at a one thousand? I'm not collecting my jokes. Is a Dr. King or Yapo? I mean, we don't. We don't see that. <laughs> jokes is a theory that. Um, Ladies raised by single mothers, wanadharawanaume. How does it affect you raising your daughters and your sons by yourself? It's none of my business. As a woman, you have to be humble and you have to provide for the, for, you have to be, as in being humble means, you have to attain the duties of being a mother and being a woman, irrespective of you being a kode. Ata mimi uchunu wa sazingine? Wewe? Eh? Wewe Can you imagine? Na mutu? Eh, and I put food on the table. <laughs> 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 if I misbehave in, in the relationship, 
My man has the guts to remind me, hey, unajua hapa kuna mama madam boss. Madam boss unachanga kwa mlango. But I got you said you are single. Achana na mimi bwana. Asante sana first of all na I also would like to thank wale wasi wote wamekamu kwa show as guest kwa sababu I na sikuwa najua na nilikuwa najua ina kuanga na impact but I didn't know they impact people's lives directly kuna wasi wana impact the impact directly kama Jalango anafundisha wase as an example na watu kama John Kibera wanaonesha watu vitu wasijaribu kufanya that is setting examples either way as in either way people get to learn something i really appreciate our guests na hata kama mtu usengine maybe hawezi ona hiyo impact in your create I, it feels so good kutoka kwenu kama zio attach ndio eh this is episode 100 uh, that means that uh, we are taking it to the next level from here saa time ya bashi imefika si ndio aya sawa sawa nani atakata kiki Thank you for joining us na asanteni sana for the support this far 100 episodes yo mchezo we couldn't have done this without you thank you for always watching thank you for your feedback and this means uh, ini we just wanted to do a different a uh, different episodes a uh, different episode today we just wanted to do things different no guest ni ni this is a special dedication to you guys you are back next week same time same place with a whole new episode <laughs> so,